Eva, please tell us your vision and how this beautiful place came about. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, this all started, Sonia, about 13 years ago when I uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was in my early 40s. I just had my third child uh, and I was a physician, so you would think I was really prepared to take on a diagnosis like this. Um, and I had just helped a friend to go through breast cancer. But if I tell you, I was so overwhelmed with all my doctor's visits and keeping track of what this doctor said and what that doctor said, carrying around basically a suitcase full of my um, information that every doctor kind of gave me. Um, after that experience, I said, I really think I need to build something that is coordinated, everything under one roof, where all the specialties communicate with each other, uh, where all the specialties actually can see each other during the day. So you can just walk down three doors and, and the breast surgeon can see the breast radiologist, where everyone that works within the center is specialized on breast. That's all they do. Uh, and then I also saw this vision that I wanted the integrative part of medicine to be part of the center. So excellent medical care, the best doctors, the latest technology, but also how do we take care of the whole person? How do we get a, a great nutritionist involved? Um, how do we get yoga to be part of the program? How do we have a masseuse that can walk through the center and calm patients down mm. while they're having a biopsy or while they're having chemo? How do we have a psychologist always here for our patients? You know, that's such a big need when you have uh, breast cancer, just to be able to talk to someone about so many issues. Uh, I was able to also get a psychiatrist to work here. Really important, sometimes you need treatment just for that period when you're, you're being diagnosed and when you're going through the treatment process. Um, so that the vision came out of the fact that I was a patient it helped that I was also a doctor, so I could kind of see where the needs were. Um, and uh, my husband and I felt that uh, being philanthropists, this was something we wanted to invest in. This has been a labor of love. Uh, I know true. you very well, and I know how much time you put into this center. In fact, I often see you vacuuming mm -hmm. the front hallway this passion and this compassion for other people going through what you went through where did it come from how did it how did it propel you to help so many others i think being a physician you have to have some compassion uh, that drives you to to want to go into this field um, but i i think it just grew sonia out of the fact that Every time I come into this center that is now like my fourth child, <laughs> it's true. My husband always says, you don't clean at home. You only <laughs> clean at the Dubin Breast Center. And it's true. Um, I, I get so much back from my patients here or the patients coming up to me, thanking me, hugging me. We both cry um, that this is a gift that I was given somehow that I am able to give back. And, and I can't imagine something more meaningful for me to do. It's, it's really been, I was lucky that I ended up being able to do this. Eva, you opened the Breast Cancer Center five years ago. That's right. How has it evolved from, how has it evolved since then, your vision of the Breast Center? So when we opened five years ago, you know, I, I was just hoping that we would have some patience. <laughs> we, had, uh, we had a beautiful space, um, we had great doctors, but you know, it doesn't mean necessarily there will be lots of patients coming. You're packed out there. We are, we are so busy. We have seen uh, almost 100,000 patient <gasps> visits wow. since we opened five years ago. We are growing out of this space. We have to look for more space. Wow. Uh, we have so much more research going on uh, than when we started, both preclinical and clinical research, clinical trials. We are recruiting um, both within breast surgery and breast oncology. 
uh, it's just a wonderful thing to see how the hospital has embraced us, how everyone is so excited to work here. It's much easier to recruit, of course, once you are up and going and have a lot of patients. So I could never have dreamt that it would be where we are today. I'm beyond lucky. I have great people that work here, uh, but by no means are we done. We are constantly looking to do a better job and to take care of more people. And you're really on the, the cutting edge of breast cancer treatment, the Dubin Breast Centre. It's become really the place to go if you have breast cancer. It's, it's very true. We, we actually offer several things that we might be the only one or at least we are one of a few centers to offer. What would an example of that For be? For example, we have something called a seed localization, which means that instead of using a needle when you have surgery, you put a little seed in and it's much easier for the patient because it can be done the day before. In order to do that, you have to be in a major uh, setting of a hospital because it involves nuclear medicine. Mm -hmm. We have only 3D mammography now. We do it on every mammography that we do. It has shown to have less callback. Mm -hmm. It has shown to pick up more cancer. And it has shown us not to go after cancers, uh, go after um, abnormalities that we thought were cancer, but that we actually now can see it's not. Um, we use the cold caps for our patients if they want to, which is which very- Which prevents the hair from falling which out. Which prevents the hair loss. Uh, something that is very uh, new I've in this country. I've seen you giving ginger tea out there too. Yeah, we have. We are always offer fresh fruit to our patients. I think it's really important that they don't eat cookies and chips while they wait. Why not instead have some fresh fruit? We have really interesting clinical trials going on, uh, especially that focuses on triple negative breast cancer. So yes, I think we are. We are there. We are cutting edge. So Eva, I'd love to thank you for thank you. telling everybody about this beautiful centre and inviting us here today to visit the centre because it's been such a privilege. One of the things everybody's noticed here is the positive energy mm, and you. the positive vibe in the space. And I think when you have a positive vibe, positivity comes out of it. So bravo for everything you. you've done here in your vision and, and good luck with keeping it going. Thank you so much, Thank Sonia, you. for having us.